used to ride in the summer house. Never a helmet, so <laughs> not very safe, Colombia. <laughs> So I'm going to spend the day here at Terra Acona Wine Estate. This is very popular here in the region of Tuscany to have these places that are like wineries or farms or olive farms and they also built a hotel around it and they have like this agri turismo which is basically like farms and tourism and it's pretty nice because the scenery is fantastic I'm going to show you around the facilities are great and it's really really nice relaxing experience it's very like romantic right like this is not a place to come party or stuff but if you're gonna come with your significant other this is definitely 100 percent the places to be so let me just show you around this gorgeous location it's a very nice gardening yes it's a very nice garden it's the original design from uh, the 16th century and oh. in the after the war, so in 1950, something like that, this very famous Italian gardener replaced it in the same shape. Mm. Oh, so it has basically this shape for yeah, 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 yeah. Hundreds, of years. hundreds of years. Wow. Because Italian gardening is really about the bushes and not so about the flowers. Flowers. Uh, as like the English garden is very full of flowers, different composition. Mm. Italian garden is more about geometries, mm. like maze. Oh, 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 super. Cantina means like cellar? Yes. Ah. Mm. Cantina, no, it's like something different in English. Yeah, yeah. Cantina like a bed, is like yeah. Where like, a bar. like a bar. Yeah. But it develops that we have just in the middle of the building is actually the only tower that remains because this castle was important for the Florentine people uh, because it was a watch uh, to protect themselves by the attack of the other cities around. Mm. This road down here, this road here was existing even in the medieval time in a different way of course yeah. but has a very important This one is the map that represents the old vineyards from the Imuccini, so from the uh, 17th century. It's crazy. 800 years tower. Oh, there's a tractor. Yes. That's what I'm in Milan. This is my fiance. <laughs> All right, the next activity we're going to be doing here in Tuscany is riding horses. So we are here at the crazy horse horsemanship horse tours right here. Tuscany. All right, so basically the plan here is we're going to take two horses and we're going to be riding them from here back to our farm where we're staying like up there in the mountains so it's gonna be according to what they said it's gonna be really nice view through the mountain and stuff so let's see let's see how they ride in horses como se llama tu caballo franco franco okay not a fan of kicking the horse oh, this is so good It's been years since I don't ride a horse. Maybe since we got a good Ivan. You remember that Ivan?
casually riding the horses here in Tuscany. Mi caballo se llama Sasha, el Juan Carlos Doc. This is the first time that I ever wear a helmet. Actually, in a school we used to wear a helmet because I, I used to do this in the middle school actually. But when we used to ride in the summer house, never a helmet, so not very safe Colombia. We have these dogs riding with us. Choco, choco, choco. Sinistra. Sinistra is left. We learn. Vamos, ahí vamos. Easy. This is a problem of one lane roads. Let's see how long they have to last. Today. Hola. Uh. With this we finish our Terracona wine state. State stay. So now we're gonna keep going south to the area of Chianti. So join us because that's also gonna be really, really fun exploring this beautiful world of ours. So, ciao, ciao, bambinos. Mm -hmm.